So this is my LR3. I'm um, actually doing uh, the sound system upgrade. So um, quickly, I'm going to go through this. I'm not going to do all that um, YouTube chit chat. Of course, I'm going to put this on YouTube too. Um, this is the Android head unit. I know um, this is what you're talking about. The nav, the nav system. So you have the MOST coming through the fiber optics here, like this. So you're going to have just like this. You're going to have two. Um, you're going to have two the in and out. Yeah. Um, um, fiber optic cables coming into this uh, um, head unit there so what you do take it out it's very simple take it out um, you're going to put your screwdriver or a very tiny um, uh, picking tool you're going to take out this blue stuff here take out this blue this blue stuff here and um, you're going to push it to take it out you push it uh, you, you make sure you don't damage this cable, these uh, fiber optic cables, they're very delicate. You're going to push it up here, you're going to push it very, very, very hard. It comes out, this blue stuff comes out. I'm not going to take this one out because this is for my amplifier. So you're going to take that out, then you're going to see there's a, there's a notch in here. Can you see, this one is already up, there's a notch in here. So you pull it up and you take out the fiber optic cable. So um, now I'm going to show you what I did here. Um, no, I won't be able to take this apart, so um, you can't see, but it gives you an idea of what to do. So that's it. So what you do is that you get a tube for these two um, cables to pass through and actually connect to each other. Okay, um, I actually put this uh, tape here for um, for protection, but it's a black tube, a little black tube. Look for a black tube like a hose um, that this fits into snugly and it doesn't have to lose any light. Um, that's how fiber optic works. So um, they have to touch each other. Um, you see those heads in there, those heads, they have to touch each other and there must not be any light interference. Um, once they go into the tube and touch each other and you tape it together and power up your system, it's going to bypass that particular module or that particular um, uh, connection. So even if you're testing your system, for example, for, uh, the Bluetooth uses the same uh, the same connection behind somewhere there you can actually bypass it too to see if your system will come up okay all right enjoy your build